And as far as the victim is concerned, that man you mentioned, that innocent man, William Calderon, he was shot dead back in September. Police say he had just been working on his car in the driveway, decided to take it for a spin when he was shot at random in what was described as pure gang violence. Now, after all of these arrests, police are hoping people who live in that neighborhood feel a little bit safer. At first glance, this quiet cul-de-sac looks a lot like many of the other streets in the Casablanca neighborhood in Riverside, but looks can be deceiving. And on Thursday, El Sol Way was the focal point of a large-scale gang bust. All of these people arrested, including these four, now charged with murder. This investigation focused on an area of our city that's unfortunately uh, known for gang activity. Riverside police say the recent string of violence on El Sol Way started last January with a fight in the street. An uninvolved neighbor uh, nearby shouted from her house to break up the fight and in response they shot her repeatedly. She survived but a month later a rival gang member was beaten to death in this street. Then in September another innocent man was shot and killed while driving down the street. We later learned that the shooter was told to target the next vehicle driving down the street uh, that was someone they didn't know. It literally could have been anyone in our community. Uh, it could have been anybody in this room that just had the rotten luck to drive down their street that night. These are the four gang members Riverside police say were responsible. They say this man, Edward Smith, pulled the trigger. Now they're all under arrest and more than a dozen weapons are off the streets. The most important stats, in, in, in my opinion, though, are, are the ones that we can't give you. Things like, uh, how many residents can enjoy their neighborhood now without being uh, in fear of being harmed or, or killed? How many kids can walk home from school now uh, without being harmed, without being hurt, without their parents being in fear for their safety? And we saw Calderon's family at the news conference today, but they did not wish to get in front of the cameras and make a statement. Again, police say one of the big problems they had during this whole investigation was no one really wanted to talk with detectives out of fear of gang retaliation. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.